Hello, my name is John Hammack and I'm a developer evangelist for Treasure Data. Today, I'm going to walk you through a short demo. For today's demo, we'll show you how to route Docker command log data to Prometheus via FluentD for monitoring. More specifically, we'll trace the steps to connect FluentD to a Docker container to route standard out commands, our data, to Prometheus. Note that Prometheus could be similarly configured for Google Cloud Platform, CoreOS, or even Kubernetes. Later, we'll query Prometheus for that data. So what is Prometheus? Prometheus is an open source monitoring system and time series database. Written in Go language, Prometheus is a natural member of the ecosystem around CNCF, or the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, and it's officially being incubated there. This is due in part to its design towards scalability and extensibility. Prometheus is not just for monitoring Kubernetes applications. It also works for those in Mesos, Docker, OpenStack, and other things. Primarily a monitoring tool, Prometheus includes a time series database and a query system. However, it was designed to be extended with a larger data store as needed. Now, why would you want to do it this way? It's already possible to monitor a Docker service directly using Prometheus. So why? would you add FluentD in the middle? Well, what if you were to decide later to scale and you want to monitor aggregate metrics from multiple containers? Or what if you just wanted to route your Docker data to multiple destinations and not just Prometheus? Please see our related blog at blog.treasuredata.com for full setup instructions. Today in our demo, we'll install FluentD Prometheus, the Prometheus plugin, and we'll configure all of the above. We'll create a, a metric called docker underscore command underscore log and increment it with docker commands. To make the end-to-end uh, in -end integration work, you'll need a few things. You'll need at least one Ubuntu host configured to run docker containers. I use DigitalOcean. You'll need an SSH connection to the host, and I've opened several windows to connect to SSH, and you'll want to have RVM installed and your Ruby updated to version 2.0. So I've logged into uh, my Docker container, actually my Docker host, it's a Ubuntu host. I've got a single instance, uh, Jamming 3 Docker a demo, uh, running on DigitalOcean. And I've got four windows open. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install FluentD for Trusty because that's the version of Linux we have running on our remote instance. So we go to one of our windows and we're simply gonna paste the command for that and we're gonna let it run. And a TD agent is restarting. So we've now installed FluentD, otherwise known as TD agent. And we're gonna jump over to the blog and basically take the commands straight from there. So the next thing we want to do is install the Prometheus plugin for FluentD, which is going to give us a Prometheus configuration along with it. So we grab that straight out of there. We copy that straight out of the GitHub gist, and we paste that into our window as well. And this is going to install FluentD uh, Prometheus plugin. So that's done. It's installed the dependencies as well. Next thing we're going to do is jump over to Prometheus. We're going to set up Prometheus next. So let's jump over there. To get Prometheus, we're going to grab this wget command here. And uh, GitHub just on the top, we're going to grab that. Uh, copy and paste this. And you're more than welcome to run these commands. Um, Make sure that when you do, you've got uh, Ruby version 2.0 installed because the dependencies uh, re are required there. So this is going to be the wget thing. It's grabbing its dependencies, and uh, we're going to grab the next command out of, um, out of our blog to actually start the Prometheus server. So we'll just copy and uh, 
paste this command into our command and this is going to require an instance of the window running so and we're going to paste that command so once we pasted it the prometheus server is up and running so let's just go into the Prometheus directory and look around. Prometheus is primarily uh, for making metrics, or that's at least what it's best known for. If we do a uh, directory search uh, with a depth of three, we can see what's underneath the metrics folder here. So we have a bunch of stuff there. And the other thing we can do actually is go over to our Prometheus, uh, to see if our Prometheus server is running, which, which it is, uh, we can check it remotely by basically going into our browser, opening a browser tab, and we're gonna grab the IP address for our, uh, for our instance, and if we go to the browser tab, open a new tab, paste in our IP address plus port 9090 plus forward slash metrics, And this will show us the metrics that Prometheus currently has for us. Now, another thing we can do is do forward slash graph to see the graphing user interface that Prometheus provides for us. So what we want to do now is route the data from our Docker container to our Prometheus instance. And this is a matter of configuring our fluentd.conf or our TD agent with the appropriate directives to route data correctly to Prometheus. What we want to do is get all standard out commands from within our Docker container. We want to route these and send them to our Prometheus server. And we want to increment our Docker command log, Docker underscore command underscore log metric um, as our commands are entered in the container. So first thing we're going to do is edit our TD agent conf. We've grabbed the uh, command to open that in nano. We're going to go to a new window. We're going to open our TD agent.conf. We don't need sudo because we're already running as a super user. And hit enter. And this is our default TD agent.conf. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to remove this and replace it with our directives from the blog. And we're gonna grab our directives from here. And um, we're gonna paste those. And we're gonna paste those directives directly into our, our uh, configuration file. So these settings ensure that as we're collecting console commands from our Docker container, and we can look at the, you can study the directives in the blog, but as we're collecting our commands, we're routing them to our Prometheus server as a metric. And the metric was going to be incremented as more of our Docker container commands are logged. So once we're done, we're restarting our FluentD instance take those commands into account. Now we're going to do two things. We're going to start our Docker container in one of the windows, and we're going to tail our FluentD commands to ensure that FluentD is actually working and getting these, uh, picking up these Docker commands. So we are grabbing the tail command right now. And in one, we're gonna paste our command for Docker, running our Docker container, run our Docker command. It has to run a few, it uh, has to pick up a few dependencies before it can actually run the Docker container the first time you run it. So uh, that's, we're gonna see a little bit of extra activity going on. While that's going on, we'll jump over to the other window and we're going to paste our tail command. We're gonna go back, grab our tail command and we're going to tail tdagent.log. And 
And we can see uh, Fluent D is running. Uh, it shows for for beginner uh, for beginning. Um, it shows the contents of the log. Now, when we echo commands, or actually when we type any commands in the in the Docker container, including echo commands, you can see that uh, Fluent D is picking it up. Um, and it is actually going to route it to Prometheus. So let's run a few echo commands here just to show you that working. Now what we want to do is we want to query our Prometheus instance. So we're going to go back to our browser to the graphing interface, which we have open in our tab here. And we should be able to type the com uh, type the beginning of our of our metric, Docker underscore command log, and it auto completes for us. So we know that it populated. When we execute that, we see eight instances of echo echoed commands and the echo command itself. So actually two of each. That's eight commands that we've put in there. You see four four actual commands plus four echoes is eight. We're going to do a few more. That should bring us to ten. And we sh that should bring us to 12. So now if we go back to our server, to our web page, and we execute again, that should take us to 12. One of the trickiest pieces to put together in any engineering stack, at least in a unified, organized, and maintainable way, is our logging story. FluentD is an open source logging framework which works by way of an established software development pattern. Instead of integrating disparate logging scripts and frameworks point to point, which creates an n times n level of complexity, FluentD integrates around a common interface. FluentD uses its own ecosystem of input, filter, and output plugins to simplify logging complexity. But FluentD is just part of the story. Treasure Data, the creators of FluentD, offers a cloud based, open source based, community-supported data application platform to help you reduce or even eliminate the cost and burden of building your own data analytics pipeline from scratch. Our open connector, Schema on Read ecosystem, means we can integrate with nearly every data store and visualization tool out there with the schema and ETL headache eliminated. If you want to get started right away, you can go to www.treasuredata.com to sign up for a 14-day trial, or else, just check out FluentD's open source data collector at www.fluentd.org.